Tips to reduce snacking and extra weight gain. How to quit snacking, 10 tips to make it easier. Today I am going to give you my top tips to help you quit snacking. By doing so, you will be able to prevent blood sugar spikes and avoid the extra weight gain. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin, your YouTube endocrinologist and your diabetes specialist. We have all been there, right? So whether it's your 3 p.m. snack or your after dinner or before bedtime or late night movie snack, da 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 da, you can keep going. We have all done it. Oh, if you are one of those Mr. Perfect or Mrs. Perfect who never eat any snack at all, this video is not for you. I am talking about the people who have a habit of snacking. Well, people love snacking, but their fat cells love it even more, which is not a good thing when you are trying to lose weight or trying to keep diabetes under control. Every time you introduce any food to your body, regardless whether it is protein, fat, or carb, your body will know to store the unused energy. So, snacking is a great way to put on weight if you are also eating regular meals. So I'm going to give you my top 10 tips to help you quit or reduce your snacking. Well, some of those things you may have already know, but if you watch the entire video, I'm sure you will learn something new today, which is my goal. Number one, eat proper meals. What do I mean by that? If you find yourself snacking every day, take a look at your meals. To reduce the need for snacking, make sure you are eating enough healthy fats at your meal times. Now, healthy fats high in omega-3 and healthy carbs with low glycemic index, of course, can keep you satisfied longer. So make sure to incorporate them in your diet. For example, instead of eating spaghetti alone, remember to drizzle some olive oil. Another one, instead of eating like white bread with your soup, try pumpernickel bread and dip your bread in olive oil and spice mix. The amount you actually need to eat at each meal varies for everyone. It depends on how active your lifestyle is, your age, even your gender. Now check out my previous videos where I go over and over about the caloric intake and carb intake if you want more detailed information on this. Today we are talking about snacking only. Number two, drink some water. I know you have heard this before, but it's true. You can confuse thirst for hunger, which leads to snacking. Drink a glass of water and wait for 15 minutes and ask yourself if you still want to get that snack. Now here's a tip, try a sugar-free water flavoring if you hate the water. Like cucumber, mint, and lemon in a water infuser is my favorite choice. Number three, are you hungry or are you really just bored? Most people tend to snack when they are bored. If you are sitting at your desk or at home and find yourself thinking about a snack, try to distract yourself by getting up and doing something else. Instead of reaching for a snack, take a walk around the office, straighten up the kitchen, Watch one of my YouTube videos or more of my YouTube videos. Do whatever you can. You may be surprised at how well this keeps snacking and, and the extra pounds away. Number four, don't have a stash of snacks around. If you keep snacks within reach, like in your drawer, your desk drawer, or out in the counter, yeah, you're more likely to grab one. Instead, keep your snacks on a higher shelf instead of your, like, drawer, the cabinet, and, and try not to keep snacks right on your desk. It helps to keep healthy snacks handy though, like healthy fats like nuts and low calorie snack choices. Uh, baby carrots, for example, are great to keep in a small container if you really need to have a snack around. The best way though to avoid unhealthy snacking is, yeah, to get rid of them. Remember, out of sight, out of mind. Number five, keep track of what you eat. If you keep a record of what you eat, you are less likely to snack. It also helps to give you a visual snapshot on the carbs and the calories for the day. Stay tuned, by the way, and keep a look out for my new app called Sugar MD, of course. It's coming in November or sometime in the middle of November, where you can keep all of your food and glucose diary as well as even the photos of your foods. So this new app is not there yet. It's a new version of the older app if you had our older app. Number six. Since we are talking about this Sugar MD brand here, I have also good news for you. We have also a new diabetes supplement formula that is on the way. Uh, it's perfected and it will be available in November. 
Now keep checking on our website at sugarmds.com. Our supplement has natural compounds to help you keep you full and prevent snacking. Number seven, pick better snacks. If snacking is so important for you, and maybe you're one of those who starts shaking after not eating for like more than four hours, maybe you're just not ready or you're having trouble kicking it. Try replacing your snack choices. Like I mentioned, nuts such as almonds are perfect snack. Why? Because they're low in carb, they're high in protein and healthy fat, and they taste great. You can even try different flavors. Pre-cut veggies also work well. You can even try dipping them in plain Greek yogurt seasoned with spices like curry, garlic, dill, or Italian blend. Number eight, drink something warm. Now, drinking something warm can help when hunger strikes. If you have tried tea and coffee before in the past or whatever and you don't like them, then try like maybe low sodium broth. Maybe a great choice. Why? Because it can really satisfy hunger. Choose a low sodium vegetable or chicken broth and this can be super convenient actually when they come in tablets or cubes and all you have to do just simply pour some hot water on it stir and enjoy. Just make sure you select a natural low sodium option. Number nine, save money and calories. Now, how do you do that? Don't buy snacks at all. If you have snacks in the house or around you all the time, you'll be thinking about it, you'll be seeing it. So if you're like my father also, you'll be also eating them just to prevent the waste. <laughs> if you don't have tasty snacks around, you are just not going to eat them. Yes, it can be that simple. Of course, diabetics who are on insulin, for example, or sulfonylurea agents, pills such as gliposide, the gliboride, the glimopride, they should have something quick, a quick snack available in the event of a low blood sugar. But you can also try keeping glucose tablets instead of snacks. Now, you can't really snack on the glucose tablets. I don't know, maybe some of you can, but you know, you should not be, right? Number 10, treat yourself here and there. Now, don't deny yourself of anything and everything completely. This is the number one mistake people make when they try to diet or when they try to quit the snacking. If you totally deprive yourself of your favorite food items, you're more likely to quit or break your diet. Now, there are some smart comments that are coming in the YouTube that I see sometimes. They'll say, oh, well, you know, you guys are eating like pigs. You know, you should stop eating this junk and you'll be all saved. And it just doesn't work that way. Good for you. Great. You know, you can advise people, but don't alienate people just because they eat carbs here and there. Instead, allow yourself a day each week for a moment to indulge like some popcorns for your movie nights, for example. Now, this doesn't mean eating a whole bag of chips or the entire package of cookies that may be followed by an insulin shot or a hospital admission. This is more like a pre-planned, pre-portioned event. It is also helpful to have something to look forward to. So, plan this ahead. If you want to make that Friday the day you will enjoy that food or the snack, stick with each Friday. Also, portion out the food item to avoid overeating. I personally intentionally work harder at the gym so I can actually enjoy a few treats without having to worry about the weight gain. You can also adjust what you will eat in your meals that day to account for that indulgent snack later. I hope this was helpful for anyone trying to quit snacking, trying to control diabetes or lose some weight. If you have any tips or snack hacks or your experiences, leave them in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.